Hello kittens. Welcome back. This is Seb the cat. So today we're going to be working on our Godot game, which is called Split Races. It's a split screen mobile game, which is a uh, sort of like a combination between Mario Kart and Towerfall. So a little bit of kart racing with some battle elements thrown in there. And it's all happening at quite a low resolution. So we're using nice and simple uh, pixel graphics with a few lighting effects, and uh, today I think we're just going to focus on getting the GUI and controls nice. Uh, and I'll show you, I have run into a really interesting problem in Godot, and I think I will like to just show you how this looks. Okay, so in my rework of the uh, GUI, um, I started thinking I could set up a um, a UI action on my buttons, right? So Godot, we, we're using these Godot buttons here uh, for each player's GUI. And you can actually set a shortcut here, new shortcut. And you can set up a new event action and what I was doing was I pr was programmatically setting up these uh, shortcuts so you can see I've just got these shortcuts assigned to the buttons right but I'm leaving the action empty now what I'm then doing okay What I'm then doing is inside the controls, I add these actions programmatically depending on the player number for each control. Right, but that actually gets us quite an interesting little bug. Collect stars and weapons. See, if I use the player one controls, I'm now getting nothing but the player two controls are now getting both actions right and you can see the buttons are triggering as i push the keys but they're actually triggering for both players so what's happening here uh it confused me for a little while and then what i realized is each instance of my control scene is sharing the same shortcut. So this is a resource here that is essentially, at, when we set the properties for one of these buttons, it's actually sharing the same resource each time for across both instances of the scene. So what we really need to do is we need to get rid of the second shortcut resource and create it programmatically. Right, so I'm going to bring up the Godot documentation and have a look at how we create these shortcuts programmatically. Okay, so I believe this is going to be uh, a property of the base button. And we've got a shortcut here. And if we open up the shortcut, uh, we can see that this is a resource.
Okay, so what I think we need to do is I'm going to extract this code first of all into a helper and I think I'll call it setup button shortcuts and that will allow me to grab all of this and put it in its own function below here. Okay, and let's go back up to there and fix that. Okay, cool. And now I want another helper function, which is func create shortcut for button. And we're going to get a button and we're going to get um, an action string. And this is where all the magic is going to happen. So here we're going to say create, well, let's just copy paste this here. So for our shoot button, it's always going to be shoot. So we can say player shoot percent s percent player number and we'll do the same thing for these other buttons as well So the reason why I have to do this is that uh, the way that the GUI is set up, um, the controls aren't actually symmetrical. Um, because I don't want to play around with rotation in Godot, right? Uh, the rotation of GUI elements gets a bit weird, so I'm just leaving it as is and treating the up and down buttons, just flipping them around in the code instead of flipping the whole GUI around. Haha. <laughs> Thanks, robotic kid. Yeah, I I love the lasers. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking about just renaming this game lasers. Just lasers. Okay, so now we have a generic way for us to uh, implement a shortcut on our buttons, right? And we have to do it in a way where we create individual shortcut resources on the fly per button. Otherwise, the actions will be duplicated across both players, and we definitely don't want that. Cool. So I wonder if we actually just create the shortcut from scratch as well. So if we just refresh all of these buttons without their shortcuts. Okay. So we can say, I think we can say new shortcut. Uh, 
I actually haven't created a resource programmatically before, so let's have a look at how they recommend you do that. Okay. Well, thank you. Generally isn't much of a win. Well, it is when the engine doesn't handle it properly. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, we've got this here. Okay, so we've got this here. Resource. Huh, okay, so I'm trying to think um Godot programmatically create shortcut. Don't suppose there's something default user shortcut. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> that's that's in two thousand eight. 18. All right, looks like it's closed. <laughs> you forgot what half of it is pulling out your hair and screaming into a pillow but other than that i think your your fractions work out You know, I had some issues as well with the uh, the touch button systems. Um, so I decided, well, it's probably a good idea to just rebuild it.